What's going on everybody? Trevels in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench. Today we are in a little bit of a different setting. We are at the computer because somewhat of a breaking news has occurred. There's an article that has come out and it has finally put to light all of the little rumor birds that have been circulating about Bell Mead and it appears the Bell Mead will be no more. So we're here at the computer. We're going to be diving into this article and highlighting some of the points that I've uh, found interesting in it, um, and then drinking a little Bell Mead whiskey in solidarity. All right, let's get into this article. Let's pull it up on the screen. Um, and first thing you'll notice is the new labeling of the bottle. It appears first line in the thing the nelson's greenbrier distillery will replace bell mead with nelson brothers uh, whiskey featuring classic line and a reserve line so you know we've already had the bell mead cask strength lose the word cask strength and go to just bell mead reserve 108.3 proof and now it looks like they're just bringing that over to this new labeling. Uh, the bottle itself is literally the same glass bottle as Bell Mead. Uh, it's just under the Nelson Bros whiskey, um, which in a way, it kind of makes sense to me because I feel like not a whole lot of people know that Bell Mead is produced by Nelson Greenbrier Distillery. I don't even know if they know what that is. Um, and maybe with Nelson Greenbrier Distillery finally coming out with their own stuff. Maybe they're trying to consolidate the Bell Mead line into their own, you know, name. I, I don't know what the case is, but, you know, we finally have some light to it. Um, something else that I found interesting, you know, again, the reserve, and it's coming in at 107.8 proof. Yeah, very, very, very similar to the old. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit, we see the same thing here. This is important. The product inside has reported to still continue to be the same sourced bourbon that was once in Bell Mead, just under the new brand. So Bell Mead was in fact sourced from MGP. It appears this is, it's just gonna be the same juice in a different bottle. They're just rebranding. So now something else to note about this is the very next line. It is not yet known if the brand will continue to offer finished products or single barrels of their Bell Mead replacement. No word on that. We all know Bell Mead has uh, the Sherry, the PX, and Cognac finished and several single barrels that are all really good. No word if those are going to be transitioned over. We don't know. This change will allow the focus to be brought to the Greenbrier name rather than a separate brand in name of Bell Mead. Uh, currently, the Bell Mead brand is on a different website. So kind of what I was saying, that this will allow for consolidation of the company. You know, I get it. I get both sides of things. Uh, in a way, um, I can see things like, look at, look at brands like Evan Williams. Do people even know that Evan Williams is made by Heaven Hill? I feel like majority of people walk by it and have no friggin' clue that it's made by Heaven Hill. And in fact, most of those bottles say Evan Williams Distillery. They're trying to trick you. So, you know, on that token, at the end of the day, does it matter if it's, you know, Bell Mead's website versus the Nelson Greenbrier? But I think maybe what it could be, and I don't really understand business, but the fact that they're finally putting out their own product with their own Nelson Greenbrier name, maybe they're trying to push that a little further and, and, and bring in the Bell Mead, the success of Bell Mead to their other products, maybe help push their other products. So, you know, that would make sense to me. All right, so there's the article. Let's go ahead and pull this off the uh, screen. I will go ahead and Put the link into the description. You can read more. There were a couple of other paragraphs. Uh, and you can share this with all your Bell Mead loving friends. Uh, that Bell Mead seems to be ceasing. Um, 
you know, I guess that all of Bell Mead is just going to go. So I honestly feel like I, I don't want to tell you to go mass panic buy all of the Bell Meads just for no reason. If you are a Bell Mead lover, um, it appears that the cask strength in the regular version will still exist. Uh, but maybe if you like some of those finished bourbons and single barrels, maybe you should go get some of those because uh, we don't have any word if those will be transitioned over to the new branding. That being said, uh, I feel that, that we need to drink bourbon because it's the Bourbon Ridges channel. So I have the old label of the Bell Mead cask strength and I have the new offering, the 108.3. So why don't we move back to the regular set and, and just side by side them for old time's sake. Let's go. Here we are back in the regular studio. I figured what better way to finish out this video than to take uh, the old bottle of Bell Mead. So the Bell Mead cask strength uh, this bottle 113.6 proof uh, they they all kind of differed it was a true uh, cash strength bourbon uh, and then compare it or rather blind it to the 108.3 so the new labeling um uh, just to send it off on its way so what i did is i've had both of these bottles poured before me totally blind it's a fancy pen. Yeah. Oh, one I poured a little heavy. Yes. Yeah, one's a little heavy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? That's totally fine. Whoopsies. That's good. It really doesn't matter which one of these wins. I just thought it would be a fun little way to uh, pay homage to Bill Mead. All right, let's just get right into it. I am going to side by side these, pick out which one I like better, and then we'll find out which one is which. Glass A. Ooh, yes. Nice and spicy and caramely and vanilla y. Just, you know, standard bourbon y notes, but very intense. Let me go straight into glass B, just to side by side them. Whoa, that's actually way different than I even thought they would be. Uh, glass B, you know, on, on glass A was getting the typical bourbon notes. Glass B is almost a grapey cherry note. Like there is a solid fruit note that's coming off this one. B, I don't know if I would say it smells older, it just smells a little more dense, a little more dark fruits, whereas A smells way more on that caramel vanilla heavy side. They're so different though. These are totally different. It makes me wonder what the new Nelson Reserve version of this is gonna taste like. So we're just gonna have to save both of these bottles and have a three-way blind between the three of them. Let's taste some glass A. Yeah, those same notes kind of carry through on the palate. Very good. Um, but it is, it's quite stark, the difference of the lack of fruit on this that I think B is going to have. This one, glass A, totally, it's just a, a vanilla bomb. So um, let's get into B because I feel like this is where things are going to change. B has a pretty strong cherry note on the palate. Um, almost, that cherry note almost turns into this, this dark grape note. Maybe the note I'm looking for might be plum. You know, I'm not familiar with all of the dark fruits, but I'm, I'm thinking of a, of a dark cherry, a dark plum type of note that's coming off of B. It's just crazy to me how different they are. They're both MGP, so, I mean, just different barrels can, can really change between each other, but they're wildly different. Honestly, though, like, I don't know which one I like more. Um, they're, I mean, they're both really good in their own right, 
they're just totally different products. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I would say, you know, on the nose, I, I like A better. Um, on the palette, B might be marginally better, but also on any given day, A could totally win. So we'll just say B on the palette, A on the nose. Let's find out what the heck these are. Here we go, glass A, which won the nose, lost the palette, was the Bellmead Cask Strength, the original guy that got discontinued to the batch proof. So that means the winner of the palette and a lot fruitier. Honestly, in my mind, I was kind of thinking that B might have been the cask strength, but this is why you do it blind because it doesn't matter what you think it is. All that matters is what you like more. Uh, and on the palette, I was really liking B more. Uh, that does not go to discredit, though, that both of them are really good. Uh, so, that being said, if you are a Bellmead fan, um, or if you haven't tried Bellmead, you know, not trying to start a mass frigging panic, but you might want to go pick up a bottle of this uh, because it is being changed into the Nelson Bros. So I feel like it's just going to be the next batch of this. So I'm hoping that it's not a total transformation and product, but only time will tell. I'm glad I have this bottle. I'm going to hold on to it. If anything, for history's sake, you know, you got the Bell Mead bottle. It's going to be gone. There we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. This video was a little bit different than anything I've ever done, but I had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully, shared some insight with you uh, on the current Bell Mead situation. Most importantly, don't be a douche. Don't go clear the shelves. I mean, come on. Do you need 13 bottles of Bell Mead? Leave one for someone else, okay? Be sure to check the links in the description. All sorts of ways to support me more. Join the Patreon page. All sorts of exclusive merch. Again, hit the like button on the way out of here, nerds. And until next time, I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you in the next video.